Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this absolutely gorgeous, classic, clean, fresh, pretty, timeless, so many good things about this makeup, I can't possibly list them all, <laughs> but how um, I created this bridal makeup look. So this is for my natural brides, those of you that aren't comfortable with wearing a lot of makeup that just want to emphasise your natural beauty, this is going to be perfect for you. And this is actually the second video in my bridal series, so for those of you that don't know, I'm a bridal makeup artist, well I do everything but I do a lot of bridal, and I wanted to start a new series on my channel where I go through all the different types of bridal makeup looks which I get asked to do so that you guys that are doing it yourself can do it for yourselves at home or for your bridesmaids or if you want your bridesmaids to have a certain look they can follow along and yeah that's what we're going to be doing today. Today is my natural girls makeup. I know that there are a lot of you out there that want a natural makeup look for your wedding day so this is going to be the one for you. So if you want to see how I got this absolutely stunning timeless classic makeup look then just keep on watching. Even though we're going to be doing a really natural makeup look today, I am still going to be starting with my eye makeup first because the thing is, is when you start doing your eye makeup, especially if you're not used to doing your own eye makeup, you're going to be likely leaning parts of your hand on your face. Now, if you've spent ages doing your foundation or powder or concealer and all that, you don't want then to, there to be like fingerprint marks or bits of eyeshadow buffed into your foundation. So I would encourage any of you that are going to try doing your own makeup yourself to do your eyes first. Um, but I will tell you as I go anyway, usually I leave mascara until last, so don't do your mascara until the end, apart from both doing false eyelashes. But anyway, I'll talk to you about that as we go, but I am going to be starting with my eyes first. So I'm taking the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and I am going to literally just dab this all over my lid just to give us a more neutral base and something for eyeshadow to stick to. So when it comes to eyeshadows, it's really important to find a colour palette that you really like the tone of. So there'll be some eyeshadows that are more cool toned, some that are more pinky, some that are more golden. Um, now the shades that a lot of my brides like are these, and this is the Pillow Talk um, eyeshadow palette, I should like to be, what's its full name? It's the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette Colour Coded Eyeshadows and it looks like this. So as you can see, they're more pinky, rosy, natural colours and so many of my brides love these because they just give you a hint of something but it's not too much. Now I will say the Charlotte Tilbury palettes are amazing because you get these like four shades, you know that they all work together, you know they all complement each other. The worst thing I think that you can do is get a big massive palette and then not know what colours to use. I would say go into Charlotte Tilbury, look at their little quads like this and pick out the quad that you feel is the one that matches the look that you're going for. But as I say, Pillow Talk is always a really, really popular one. I'm then going to take a little blending brush like this and I am going to use this shade here, so this matte pink shade, and I am going to literally, this is going to be super easy guys, I'm going to place it into my crease here and then I'm just going to do back and forth window wiper motions like that. Do you see, just so it gives us a little bit of colour. So just take a bit of time just to keep doing those window wiper motions, blowing it out slightly. That's all you need to do, window wiper motions. And as you can see, it's just going to define that crease a little bit. And then going to go in with this shade here, which is the darkest matte shade. And then this shade, all I'm going to do is dab it on this outer part of the eye, just there. Literally as easy as that. Just dab in. You don't have to do anything else other than dab at the minute. So just place it down, dab, 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 dab. So easy. Now what you can do, and what I'll do for today, because this is what I tend to do on my brides, is you don't want any more product, and you just want to go into your crease, and where you've placed that, tapped that colour on, you just want to blend it into your crease slightly like that. And same on the other side. So all that's doing is creating a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of definition. So it's really soft, really elegant, really pretty, not too much. And I am just going to have a little cup of tea. <laughs> so now I'm going to take this shade here, which is a shimmer, and I'm going to use my finger, press it in, and I'm going to dab that 
onto the lid to fill in that gap that we haven't put eyeshadow in already. So it's just this bit here. And I'm just gonna lightly do that. Now you'll notice if you decide to go ahead and buy this palette that this fourth shade here is slightly more glittery and pigmented. So this is what Charlotte Tilbury calls her pop shade. So it's gonna be that shade which is gonna add a little bit of glitter and a little bit of sparkle to your eye makeup look. Now you will need to use your finger for this. So it's basically an eyeshadow topper. So once you've done all that eyeshadow like we've done now, you just wanna press this onto your finger and literally just dab it over the top like that. And I don't know if you can see, but it just leaves us with a really, really gentle sparkle. It's not too over the top, not too overpowering. It's not gonna make you feel like you've definitely got sparkles on your eyes, but it's just gonna give you a little bit of twinkle. So to finish off the eyeshadow, all you're gonna need now is any matte brown eyeshadow. It does not matter where you get it from, just any matte brown that you've got hanging around. And you're gonna take a tiny little smudging brush like this, dip it lightly into the matte brown, and we're gonna just line, where we'd put a liquid eyeliner, we're just gonna pop a little bit of this brown eyeshadow. So just on top of your lashes. And this will just add a really, really subtle little bit of depth and make your eyelashes look a little bit thicker and fuller. And if you're not good at liquid eyeliner or don't even want to attempt liquid eyeliner because I wouldn't blame you, it's hard. Um, this is a really nice alternative but it'll give you a much softer finish so it's not going to be as stark and harsh on your eye. So you've got a little bit of leeway here with a product like this because if you go wrong you can easily just wipe it away rather than with a liquid eyeliner it's kind of like get it right the first time or you've buggered it. So at the beginning of the video I actually said I was going to leave doing mascara until the end. Now because I'm going to be using individual eyelashes, the best time to do mascara is now and then apply the individual lashes, then do the rest of your makeup and then mascara your individuals right at the end just to get any powder out of them. Um, so what I'm going to do now is get my eyelashes ready for the false eyelashes. So because we, this is going to be more natural look, we're going to want to amplify our own lashes as best we can. So I am going to take an eyelash curler and I'm just going to curl the lashes. And I'm then gonna coat my eyelashes. So in terms of mascara, if you're wanting to just use your natural lashes, a really good mascara is either the Legendary Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury, which I absolutely love, it's amazing. Um, but a thinner, more thinner consistency is the Benefit Roller Lash, which is also really good, or Benefit They're Real. I would say those are the three best if you're wanting to stick to your natural lashes. But obviously feel free to use whichever one you're comfortable with. So let's get these eyelashes done. So for those of you that aren't wanting to use false eyelashes, obviously skip this step and carry on to the next step. But for those of you that are wanting to use a few little individuals just to amplify the look a little bit, I really would recommend these. If you're thinking, yeah, I don't want false eyelashes on at all, they don't suit me, I don't like them, do just give these a go, like when you do a little trial or a practice run on yourself because they are really good and they just make a slight little bit of difference. Um, so what I like to start off with when I'm doing individual lashes, is these tiny little cluster lashes that you get from Primark. So these come, I'll get them a bit closer. So these aren't normal individuals, these come in groups of threes and fours. And for beginners, they are much easier to apply than the actual individual ones. So what I like to do is I like to put a couple of these on first and then I'll start going in with the very fine individual ones. So I'm gonna take, these also come in different lengths as well. So you can either go for long, medium or short. I've gone for the medium for today. So all I've done is I've dipped it in a little bit of the duo eyelash adhesive. And then I've just dipped the lash in there and then I'm literally placing it on the outer part of my eye, like that. It is literally that simple, guys. I'm telling you, this is the easiest thing in the world. Do not think that this is gonna be tricky because I know you're all gonna smash it. So again, take your lash, dip it in a tiny little bit of lash glue, and then this next one you wanna put right next to the last one. Like that. It's literally that easy. Just don't overthink it. Dip it in the lash glue, drop it down. So once I've got two sets of the clusters on each eye, I'm then gonna go in with the 
actual individual lashes. So these are the ones which you will have seen in Boots and Superdrug. So they look like this. So they're one little section at a time. And again, these come in medium, long and short. So you can pick which length you think is best for you. I've got medium size again. And you wanna take the lash like this, dip the end in the glue, and then you wanna go right next to where you've just dropped that other lash and put it on. Same thing again. And you basically wanna repeat that all the way along until you're happy with how the lashes are built up and how they are looking. Now, some people, some people will like them just on the outer part of the eye. Some people like them all the way across. It's all just personal preference. So just give it a go, see what you think. So that is one eye done. So what I've done is I've taken the lashes all the way across and that is the medium individual lashes all the way across the eye and that's what they look like. So you can see little white dots of eyelash glue at the minute, that will dry and you won't be able to see them anymore. And yeah, that's what they look like. You can see they're much more natural but they just give you a little bit more than your own lashes but they're not as harsh as a whole strip lash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then that'll be the lashes done. So once you've got them all on, you just wanna give them a few minutes to dry because if you start moving your eye around too much, you will move them, so just make sure you give yourself just a couple of minutes until the lashes are almost dry before you move on to the next step. To prime the skin, I'm then gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is honestly the best product in the whole wide world. You'll not regret buying this if you buy it for your big day. It's just so lovely and it smells gorgeous and it just makes your skin really dewy and beautiful, ready for makeup. So when it comes to foundation, the most natural finish that you're probably gonna get is from the MAC Face and Body. Now this is a really liquidy formula and it's super water-based, like it's so runny, that if you're wanting a really, really sheer finish, this is gonna be the best product to do that with. So I'm just gonna take it out of the bottle and drip it onto my skin. I'm then gonna take my Morphe M439 Buffing Brush and I'm just gonna take that and dab it over my face and then I'm going to start working it in. So this will really make your skin feel like it's got a tiny bit of coverage but it's not like you've got a mask on your face because I know that's just horrible for a lot of you, you hate that. So you'll still be able to see your freckles through this so any of you that have beautiful freckly skin you'll really like this because it won't hide your freckles. It's just gonna give you a tiny bit of coverage and make you look really, really radiant. And then for those of you that are wanting a little bit more coverage in certain places, um, I'll take my concealer again. This is the collection Lasting Perfection and I'm gonna put the concealer in those areas that I want a little bit more coverage. So for that, for me, it's gonna be on my chin, down my nose and on my forehead, just because I like the coverage to look more full in the center of the face. So this, is, this will almost give me the illusion of wearing a more full, full coverage foundation without actually wearing one. Another thing I like to do is actually conceal quite heavily under my eyes. I know that those of you that are wanting a very, very natural makeup look are not gonna want a heavy conceal. So if I was you, I would literally just go dot, 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 and blend that in. That will be more than enough concealer for you. But I like a more concealed under eye, so I am gonna go in a little bit heavier. And then I'm just taking a sponge and blending that in. You can see by really choosing those areas that you want the concealer, it gives you a more full coverage effect without having a really full coverage and heavy foundation, which is really what you want on your wedding day. You don't wanna feel really heavy. Well, most people don't anyway. You know, you wanna be comfortable, you wanna feel yourself. There really should only be one powder that any of you are using for your wedding day, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. So this is what it looks like. It's absolutely incredible, and it just gives you, as it's called the Airbrush Flawless Finish, that's what it gives you. It just makes you look airbrushed. There's, you know, there's no two ways about it. It really does just make you look airbrushed. It's honestly amazing. So I will take it on a setting brush like this, and buff it underneath my eyes just to set my concealer. So this is gonna stop your concealer creasing throughout the day because we don't want that, especially if you've done quite a bit of concealer under your under eyes, maybe you've got slightly dark circles and you're trying to get rid of them. You'll need to do quite a heavy powder underneath just to stop that product from moving. And then to keep the finish quite natural, you're just gonna wanna take it mainly in your T-zone. So those areas where 
the product is usually going to wear off first. So for me that's going to be around my mouth and then around my nose. Now if you're like me, you'll actually want to powder everywhere because I find that powdering everywhere just makes my makeup last longer. But if you really are wanting a very, very sheer finish, just powder those areas that you feel are going to come through more oily. So to finish under the eyes, we're going to take this shade here from that same palette, the darkest matte shade, and we're going to take that little blending brush and we're going to rub it in there. And we're just going to slightly line our lower lash line just to give us a little bit of definition but nothing that's too crazy. So you're literally just taking it on that outer part there. Just to give you a little bit of definition. To warm up and bronze up the face only slightly because we don't want anything too harsh. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is in the shade Light. And we're going to be taking this darker shade here. So we basically want to add a little bit of warmth and a little bit of sort of sun kissedness to the face without it being too much. So I'm just going to take this product just on the top of the cheeks and in the hollows like that. So it's really, really gentle and really, really soft. So it just gives us that slight little bit, slight little bit of contour. Same on the other side. And then I do like to take a little bit across my nose and that's gonna make us look like we're a bit more sun-kissed. So that's naturally where you would get bronze from the sun anyway. And then I take a little bit just around here onto my temples and onto my forehead just to bring a bit more color back into the face. Same thing on the other side. For blusher, I feel like I've literally just done an all Charlotte Tilbury bloody video for this, but I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blusher because it's just so amazing. As you can see, it's got the two-tone colors. So this is more highlight, this is more of a highlighter shade, this middle one. So if you just swish them together with your blusher brush and just wanna go onto the apples of your cheeks and blend it into that bronzer that we've just put on. And that just gives you that fresh glow, but because it's got that slight bit of highlighter in it, it'll give you a little bit of a sheen as well, which is really pretty. And then to highlight, I'm gonna be taking the highlighter shade from the Film Star Bronze and Glow palette, and I'm gonna take that just on the same brush as I did for my blusher, and I'm just gonna pop that on the high points of my cheeks and around my brow slightly, just to lift that part of the face and give it a little bit more sort of youthfulness, lookingness to the skin. And I'm now gonna use another Charlotte Tilbury product, honestly. <laughs> I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in the shade Linda, and this is great because this isn't a brow pencil. This is literally just gonna brush product into your brow. So this is super duper natural. So it's, uh, I mean, a dupe for this would be the Charlotte, um, Charlotte Tilbury, that's because I've used so much Charlotte Tilbury in this video, is the Benefits Gimme Brow. So all it does is it adds color to your hairs. So it's not, you're not gonna draw your brows on, you're just coloring in the hairs you already have. So it's gonna look really, really natural. And you can of course build that up as much or as little as you want to. But I'd say for this look and for most brides, I usually just do one coat of it across the full brow just so you've got a little bit more shape and a little bit more face frame, but it's not all about the brows. Like the last thing you want is to like feel like, oh, I've got brows. You just want to feel like, yeah, my brows are there. They're defining my face, but they're not the focus. So this is a stage in which you want to do your mascara. So if any of you aren't wearing false eyelashes, then do your mascara now. Um, but also those of you that have put on false eyelashes like me, do your lower lash mascara and just do a, a thin coat onto your lashes just to get rid of any powder that might be sat on there. Because obviously we've applied the lashes and then we've powdered the face. So there may be a little bit of powder just sat on there. So I'm gonna do my lower lashes first. And when I've done my lower lash mascara, what I like to do to keep it looking really soft is actually take a little spoolie like this and just brush through the lower lashes. I do this so much on my brides just to get the product looking a little bit finer and more delicate. I don't know if that makes sense. And then I do my top mascara. So you don't wanna to do too much mascara because we've got the lashes on. I tend to try and keep most of the mascara on my lashes right at the base and just take it up slightly, just to give them a bit of amplification. So just looking through my kit and I thought, oh, what colors could I use that I use for my natural brides? And you're not gonna believe this, but 
they are Charlotte Tilbury colours. Now that, as I've said a million times before, it's because they are so good at doing natural soft makeup. So, whatever, I'm going to show you using these colours because these really are the most popular ones. So I'm going to take Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm not going to overline them too much. Now the benefit of using a lip liner is it's going to make your lipstick last a lot longer. So I'm going to just slightly line my lips. And this colour is so soft and pretty as well. So I just slightly line the outside of my lips like that. And then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk. So it's actually a really good way of knowing that all your shades are going to complement each other really well by buying sort of the eyeshadow, the lipstick and the blush are all within the same collection, you know they're going to match. So I'm just going to do this. And as I said in my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks lip swatch video, I'll leave it linked down below if you haven't seen it. This is a matte finish so it's going to be really long lasting, much better than using just a lip gloss or using a sheeny finished lipstick. But what I am going to do is pop a tiny bit of gloss on because I think that looks really pretty in pictures. So this is just the Makeup Revolution piece of cake lip gloss. Now I'm not going to put a lot on, just going to put a little bit in the centre just to give a little bit of nourishment to the lips so you don't feel so dry. So that's the makeup finish, but I'm gonna go and do my hair so you can see what it looks like all together and then I'll be right back. So I've tried to do my hair a little bit brightly so you can see what the makeup would actually look like on the big day. But the thing I love about this makeup look, it's really fresh, it's clean, it's effortless, and it really does emphasize your natural beauty. So for those of you that aren't comfortable wearing a lot of makeup but you want a little bit just to make yourself feel like you are done up and you have got makeup on, this is a really nice look because it's just so soft and subtle. And I know that there's probably a lot of people that are watching this like, Alice, this isn't your normal look, but this is very, this is very typical of my types of makeup looks which I do for bridal. A lot of people want looks like this. Looks which don't feel heavy, don't feel like they've got a lot of makeup on. They don't feel like their people are going to look at them and think, whoa, that doesn't look like you. Like this is the type of makeup look that just suits everybody. Everybody loves it. It photographs absolutely beautifully. Because I know there'll be some brides on here that I've got booked in with me that are thinking, oh, do I want this makeup look? For those of you that think that maybe you like this but you want a little bit more, we can do a little bit more. This is also a nice type of makeup look that if you're a bride that wants to be a little bit more glam, this is a nice option for your bridesmaids. So it's something that's really pretty, it's gonna complement your makeup, but it's not gonna be as wow as your makeup is. So we can just do this, but a little bit more, so you stand out, but then your bridesmaids kind of complement that as well. So it's one of those makeup looks which I just always have up my sleeve. For somebody who maybe doesn't wear makeup every day, that doesn't want to feel like they've got makeup on, this really is perfect. And I don't know, it's so pretty, isn't it? And for those of you that are wanting to do it on your own, obviously this is not that hard. We've gone through the steps, you can do it, just take your time, have a practice you'll be absolutely fine. Like, this is so simple, I know that you'll be able to do it. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and for clicking on this video. I hope it helped you. And if you do decide to go ahead and wear this look, please don't forget to send me a message so I can have a little chat with you about it. Or if you need help doing it, give me a message. And I hope you all have a wonderful wedding and the, like enjoy the run-up to your wedding because it's the most special time in the world. And thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.